guys. We're going to look at a few of these um, problems from the worksheet we had in class today. All right, and then uh, you know after after that you should be pretty good on your own to do them. Okay, so we got to look at this picture here. All right, it says angle three and W. Y, Z are linear pair. What's that mean? It means they add up to 180, which automatically what I would write down is angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals what? 180. Because that's a linear pair. A linear pair are uh, adjacent angles which add up, uh, which are supplementary. Uh, again, supp a supplementary adjacent. That's a little sloppy. Okay. Linear pair, supplement, supplementary, and adjacent. Okay, that's what that means. Now, um, uh, okay, it says YT, YT, here's the ray, bisects. Uh, w, Y, Z. That means that angle 1 and 2, the two angles that are formed by the bisector, are congruent. They're adjacent and congruent. So I don't know what they are, but I know they're equal, so I'm going to mark them off like that, okay? The two little curls on each to say that they're equal, okay? You do one curl, two curls, just match them up so that your eye is drawn to it and says it's equal, okay? So now, it says angle 3 is 122. Okay, angle 3 is 122. So, I don't know what 1 is. If I don't know what it is, I'll call it a variable. I'm not going to use x because x was used as a point. I use p. And I also know number 2, which is, which is the angle formed by the bisector, is also the same thing. So, now I have everything. I can substitute it back into my equation. 1 and 2 are equal, both equal to P, so I'll just put P plus P plus angle 3, which is said to be 122, is equal to 180, okay? So that's 2P plus 122 is equal to 180, and of course you should be able to solve that from there, and I'll let you do that, okay? Come down here, number 5. In the, in the diagram, ST, find ST, there's ST, right? A little shaky hand, okay? It's the bisector of RSU. Trace it out. RSU, it's the bisector. What happens with an angle bisector? Two congruent adjacent angles are formed. What are they? One and two. Mark them off so that you know they're adjacent and they're congruent, okay? More importantly, they're congruent because of the angle bisector. Now, okay. RSB, that's the all-inclusive angle, RSB is 88. So what am I going to do? I'm going to write down the statement of angle addition, okay? I'm going to write down the statement of angle addition. What is the statement of angle addition? Well, the three angles, 1, 2, and 3, add up to the all-inclusive RSB, okay? So I'm going to write that, angle 1, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to the all-inclusive angle, that's the angle addition, remember, the all-inclusive angle is angle RSV, okay? 1, 2, and 3 are easy to refer to on, um, by your eye, RSV, you have to trace it out, okay? Now, let's fill in. Angle 1 is 25, all right? Uh, and uh, angle RSV is 83, uh, uh, 88, rather, okay? 88. Um, what is the measure of angle 3? Okay, I don't know what it is. I'm going to call it X. Okay? I'm going to call that X. But wait a minute. All of a sudden, I'm missing number 2. No, you're not, because you know you have congruent angles formed by the bisector. So there is that, and of course you can solve that. I'm going to leave you to solve that. It's no big deal. Okay? All right. What's this? I don't even have a picture. No? Well, you... you and if you need the shuttle, go get it. I'm not, so, so just have to deal with that, okay? There you go. Go get the shuttle, okay? Here is now we have to draw the picture, meeting this description. I have angle WXZ. I don't know what it looks like. Any angle will do for now. WX, 
z. Yes, that's my angle WXZ. It says XZ bisects it. All right, so bisecting means it creates two congruent adjacent angles. So that's, um, uh, that's my XZ, okay? So WXY, okay? All right, WXY, I mislabeled that. WXY is my all-inclusive angle. And XZ is my bisector, okay? XZ is my bisector. So there's, make sure you have the description. XZ bisects angle WXY. That's the description. What's it mean by bisecting? Two congruent adjacent angles are formed. So I don't know what either one of them is, but I know that they're equal. Okay. Now, what's the statement of angle addition here? Well, the two angles, angle WXZ, WXZ plus angle ZXY is equal to the all-inclusive angle WXY. Once you write the angle addition postulate, you'll know everything that goes into it, okay? So let's take note. WXZ, WXZ is 3X minus 12, right? So that's 3X minus 12 plus ZXY, okay, it is e which is X plus 18. Now, you're saying, oh, well, what is WXY? Well, you know what? I don't know it. I don't know it. So the angle addition is good, but look, look what it got me. It got me to something, an unknown. So I have to come back and think about this a little bit more. No big deal, because I know that the two angles I have don't not only add up to the third, but they're equal. So uh, even though this is true, it didn't get me anywhere in solving, but what is true is that the two angles are equal, so I can set them equal to each other like this. I think this kind of approach that I took here is fine, and it might serve us for another problem, but right now, the best approach here is to say that they're equal, and there we go. We're going to solve that. For a little, that's a little simple equation for solving, and you should be able to do that, okay? So the angle bisector means it, the two angles created out of one that are congruent and adjacent. Angle addition always applies, okay, uh, as well as the ideas that we uh, showed you in the previous sketch pad, okay, uh, also apply, okay? Um, so work them out and you should be all right. I would like you to finish the worksheet that given today uh, using these guidelines, okay? And there you go. We're sorry for that interruption I got, okay? But I wasn't going to start the recording all over again. There you go.